Yeah, right? Tell people. <laughs> so the other day I uh, mumbled through uh, Helen Keller's autobiography. And I thought, I thought, man, if you were talking to Helen, she'd sound like probably a busy freeway or something. Like you could go, hi, Helen Keller. She'd go, Maybe like, Helen, slow down. Uh, I thought about it after the book. I thought, man, if I had something in common with Helen, it'd be that we both definitely didn't see that dumb joke coming. <laughs> so I was thinking about the term when people say caught red handed. Like, to me, I just picture if you're caught red handed, maybe. Maybe you're fisting a girl on her period. <laughs> and you just you just forget to wash your hands. I don't know. So eight lesbians eight lesbians walk into a red lobster and they were caught red-handed uh, eating octopus in the bathroom. <laughs> you got that, that's awesome. Very cool. So I knew this girl with uh, multiple personalities. And she was obsessed with this book called Fifty Shades of Grey. So I, I just took it as she was Fifty Shades of Cray. Cray, Cray, crazy. Very crazy. Um, when I was a little kid, I never got along with mushrooms. Uh, especially shiitake mushrooms. I thought they always wanted to fight me or something. Alright, well, I don't want to go racist on you guys, but I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I tried getting really drunk with this white supremacist, and I noticed he had a really hard time blacking out. <laughs> All right, racist. Uh, thank you. Um, I have a hard time remembering my dreams, so I went and I purchased a, uh, a memory foam mattress. But it's kind of weird, because like, out of all the dreams that I have, there's just one that I keep remembering. And it's where, it's where I'm dreaming, I'm dressed as Jesus, but I'm on mushrooms, which I hate, I don't understand. And I sneak into a courtroom, and I sit patiently and I wait, and then the bailiff walks in and says, All rise, and then I stand up and go, Jesus Christ, that's my line. And then I end up blacking out and waking up next to like a really busy freeway, but like a red lobster. It's like, <laughs> this is all coming from my memory foam mattress, so just throwing that out there, it's pretty weird. Um, I'm going to try something a little different with you guys. I'm pretty new to impressions, but uh, this would be my impression of a ventriloquist who lost his voice. There's no swimmers in dive bars. <laughs> I just noticed. Uh, also, uh, the first time I saw a shooting star, I go, oh man, I didn't know space had a gun. Hey, I like you, you're laughing at everything. I wanna just, I wanna give you my attention right now. I wanna, I wanna get down here with you. I'm just kidding. Hey, but back on the gun topic, while I'm hot with guns, um, <laughs> Whenever I hear someone say the term, son of a gun, I like to reply, yeah, makes sense. Guns bang. <laughs> so I, uh, I ask this gravekeeper, I say, hey, how do you like your job? And he replies, I dig it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to go back to the impressions because this is what's fun for me. And I'm new at it. So this would be my theatrical impression of Prince's song, When Doves Cry. <laughs> oh man. I'll keep working on that one. I really will. So you know what? I find it kind of awkward 
and ironic, really. I find it ironic when, when my friend, who's colorblind, when he starts a conversation like this, when he goes like, Man, seriously, the grass is always greener on the other side. I'm like, really? You're colorblind. You like Fifty Shades of Grey. Go read your book. I'm like, it's stupid. So, um, is anyone in here, like, keen on learning fun facts? Because I know one really good fun fact. Um, the fun fact is that five out of five witches were caught red-handed using spell check on their computer. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That's a fact. No one's good at this part. That's like, you know, everyone has lots of jokes, and some are good, some are bad. Some, like, maybe one like that I could just scrap. I don't know. <laughs> I, thought I, I, thought, you know I thought I'd give it a shot. It was worth it. Um, hey, if panties could talk, you think they'd say something like, Sup, brah? <laughs> or, or, quit stalking me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> do you ever see a comedian move the mic around? Like, inch by inch? I don't, so I'll try it. <laughs> so, you can tell a pedophile is happy when they say something like, Oh, boy! <laughs> you know? You're fucking kidding me, right? Oh, boy, pedophiles. Nasty. So I bought this uh, camouflage Snuggie to support our troops. Uh, I just go around wearing it and I tell people, like, this is my army blanket. Because it's army blanket. Yeah. Snuggies. Who wears them anyways, right? I do it for the troops. Alright, um, last, last one I'm going to get out of here on is, uh, it's kind of a fun wordplay I've been working on, so we'll just see if you catch on to what I'm saying. Uh, there's this bar that's been around for Islam, as I can remember, and is really nice. Uh, one time, I ran up to the bartender there and I said, Hey, buddy. Hala, I have whatever jihad over there, and uh, uh, give, my buddy, uh, a pal, uh, give my buddy a shot of uh, turkey, uh, and also give my pal a stein. And, uh, oh, 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 bartender. Wait, I'll, I'll have a, a car bomb.